Hello again everyone, Craig and I are back and outdoors again to show you one of our favourite activities for getting people back to nature and having a bit of fun in the woods. Hello again everyone, that's right, this activity is one that me and Jenny come back to time and time again and we find in our experience that it never fails to get people engaging with the outdoors. We call this activity Crat Homes and all you need to take part is an outdoor space and if you like a small toy animal to represent your critter, this activity can honestly be done in any green space you can think of, whether it's your back garden or your local woods, by yourself or with your family. Either way, it's a great bit of fun. Now, as we all know, every living plant and animal has a place on earth it likes to live above all of the places. In the outdoors, we call that a habitat, but most people will be more familiar with the term a home. So, when taking part in this activity, it's really good to think about what an animal might need in an area before it will settle in and call a place its home. You know, things like food, is there water, is there shelter from the elements, can I get away from predators, is there a good wall to mount my LCD TV screen on, is there a place to have a patio and have a barbecue, you know, the essentials. So with this in mind, the challenge is to build a habitat for your critter in your chosen green space, using only the bits and pieces of nature around you. The more extravagant, the better. Let's get to it, Jenny. So I've just finished building um, my little critter home. So this is it. It is quite a windy day. So unfortunately the wind keeps blowing it apart, which is very sad, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's inside it. So unfortunately Bob's roof has caved in. This is Bob. Say hello Bob. Hello. This is Bob's food. Likes to eat this. And then this. Over here is Bob's bed. Nice and cozy for Bob to lie on at night. Like this. He's got his little toy in his mouth and then he's got his flat screen TV. Okay guys, so that's me finished my critter home. Um, this is my wee critter here that's been borrowed from my cats at home just to make it a bit more fun. He's got a nice big box where he can store things that nobody else can get to because only he can get in amongst the gaps so he can store his food and whatnot there. He has a, a moss rock which he can sit outside and sunbathe on. He's got an overhead projector area so he can play all his games and watch his movies with his friends. An outdoor patio of course for barbecues. Um, he's got a wee extended roof line here and veranda. Um, a lean-to shelter covered with leaves for waterproofness. But inside, he has a nice comfortable bedding area where he can put his head down at night time and chill out after a hard day's work. So, what did you think of the activity, guys? One of our favourite things about this activity is that everything you've made can be left in place for others to appreciate, for you to come back to and build on again, or even, who knows, for a critter to move into. If you do decide to try and make your own critter home, or if you just enjoyed watching this video, please let us know in the comments down below, or if you have a picture to share with us, tag us on Instagram, hashtag PelicanFun. Thanks again for watching everybody, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! See you next time. Bye.